My name's Clara, I'm the drummer in Jermaine. So last year obviously with COVID um, meant we weren't going to be touring much overseas so we we're going to be home and we had some new material that we really wanted to record and we thought why not also do some things like our sister sessions which you might have seen online. We just had lots of plans for trying to make the most of not being out for tour basically. So we had this room here at our house already, it was just like a big rehearsal room but it had been super water damaged last winter so we thought we'll make the most of the opportunity to do some renovations. Um, there was a few issues with the building design and stuff like that and a lot of the walls and the roof got damaged as you can see. We're going to get some professional people to fix the outside so that will stop the problem from happening again but we thought for the inside we might have a go at doing some renovations ourselves. Let's see how we go. So I haven't really had much experience or background in woodwork and construction stuff but um, I've always loved building things and making things so um, especially out of recycled things especially like pallets that you find on the side of the road and that kind of thing so super excited to try and do it as cost effectively as possible so using as much recycled um, stuff as possible to make yeah, this room a cool space for us to be able to record and, and rehearse in. Yeah, so this room is kind of almost built like a fire bunker, so where we live it's um, in the Adelaide Hills, so quite high fire danger. Uh, so it's a double brick room um, with a concrete and a metal ceiling, which makes it very hard to basically drill any holes into or anything like that. So I wanted to obviously do a big pallet wall, which would be really cool for sound and everything, and yeah, using the recycled pallets. Um, but that meant, yeah, drilling into double brick to kind of get the framing in there and everything it was definitely um, hard work, but we got there in the end. Um, also pallets, I use a lot of pallets, so you can kind of see on the wall here, um, every row of pallet is an individual pallet in itself. So count how many rows, and that's basically how many pallets I had to pull apart, pull all the nails out, um, yeah, try and find the best bits that you could use and all that. So a lot of time and um, effort into it, but yeah, it came out really cool. This main room, the rehearsal room for us, um, we basically wanted it a nice big space we could rehearse in, so um, move around with our instruments and stuff like that, but not other, other than rehearse, we also record, so we wanted to make it a little bit more soundproof as well, to not have the sound going out to the rest of the house, and also for recording, not to have sound bouncing around everywhere. Um, you can see the big shelves behind me here. We have a lot of music cases and lots of gear from our travels and over the years we've collected, so really wanted somewhere we could store them. So I kind of built them custom to fit the biggest case, which I think was like my kick drum case. Um, our piano here, which is kind of the main feature, was our grandma's, so that was really special um, to be able to um, include that in the room here as well. For recording vocals, um, I really wanted to make like a cute little sound booth that we could wheel away and use for different things. So um, we found these two second-hand panels that we had been using, but we kind of wanted to make it more of a square booth, so I built a couple of extra ones. And I did pallets on the back of them to just keep with the general vibe of the room. Could also be cool for like if we're filming videos and stuff, we can wheel them behind for a background and that kind of thing. So for the roof, as I mentioned before, it's a concrete um, on a big, on a metal, basically metal with concrete and it's quite thick slab um, to make the, that fireproof room. Um, that's not ideal for sound and it's also not great for air ventilation. So we did have these big white panels you can see. They were just glued on, but due to the moisture in the room and stuff, they were kept falling down. Um, so kind of researched the drop ceilings, or I think they called them Armstrong ceilings. I have no idea how to make them properly or to use the actual materials, but I googled basically how they work um, and came up with my own version because I still wanted to use the tiles we already had. I thought I didn't really want to throw them out um, and to recycle them would be good. So the roof is basically pallets. The wood is pallets, so long pieces of pallets suspended down with wire um, and a hook. Um, so I made sure they're all about roughly the right height up there. So the suspenders, so there's about a gap like that far um, between the ceiling and the tiles and then the tiles just sit in there as well, which is also great for that sound um, absorbing feature of the room. So yeah, they kind of come across like a big quilt. <laughs> So the mixing room or it's kind of the office type room for our studio work. It was already kind of the space how it was. We wanted to kind of tie it in a bit more with this main room here. So um, found our dad actually built this table out of um, wood from our trees here. So he chainsawed them into planks. And so I just gave it a good sand. It had warped over the years. So I gave it a bit of a sand and a varnish. So I thought that would be a really cool feature for the room. 
we have all these tour posters from cool um, shows that we've done, opening for other um, big acts or some big festivals that we've done over the years. And I thought it'd be really cool to make it like a wall of memories um, for us. So a bit of like drive to keep going and, and to also appreciate all the things we have got to do in the past. I feel like using recycled materials, it's a great way just to not have so much waste in the world. So um, yeah, we could have bought all, all new things for this room, but then it meant throwing out a whole heap of stuff, which I just didn't really like the idea of. So I love trying to refurbish things or yeah, use that recycled stuff. Timber is also quite expensive as well to buy new and pallets are free off the side of the road. Obviously make sure you get them from someone who's okay for you to take them for free. Um, I know some belong to masonry companies and stuff. So don't take those, but yeah, check with the people that you're taking it from, but most of the time they're free. Um, and yeah, it also comes with so many different colors and textures and stuff. So it gives it a really cool vibe. Yeah, so I'm most excited and proud of this room because it just gives us a really cool area um, to come and rehearse and to write together and record together. It's kind of like a cool, comfortable, cozy feel. Um, it makes us all excited, I think, to come in here as well. Thanks so much for watching and yeah, stay tuned to see us using this space more often.